bronchial thermoplasty is a novel treatment of patients with severe asthma who are symptomatic despite maximum medical treatment. In severe asthma, the airway smooth muscle is thickened and this leads to narrowing of the airway. Bronchial thermoplasty or BT delivers controlled thermal energy to the airway walls during a series of three bronchoscopic procedures. The aim of the procedure is to treat every airway wall that is 3 mm or greater in diameter targeted to the airway smooth muscle. This will lead to a reduction in the airway smooth muscle which will reduce the ability for bronchoconstriction leading to less severe and fewer asthma attacks. BT can be performed either under sedation or general anesthesia, although the general anesthesia approach is safer. When the patient is sedated, a flexible bronchoscope is inserted into the patient's airway. The BT catheter is then introduced through the working channel of the flexible bronchoscope to come in contact with the airway wall. The thermal energy is delivered to the airway walls from a radio frequency controller. Who are suitable for bronchial thermoplasty? Number one, any asthmatic patients who are 18 years old or above 
host asthma is still uncontrolled despite maximum medical therapy can be considered for this procedure. Number two, anyone who suffers from allergy asthma who is unresponsive or not a candidate for MPIDE therapy can also be considered for bronchial thermoplasty. The effectiveness of BT has been demonstrated in several clinical trials. The A2 trial at one year has shown benefits in terms of improvement on the quality of life, reduction in severe exacerbation around 30%, reduction in emergency room visits at about 80%, reduction in hospital visits about around 70%, and close to 70% reduction in the days lost from work, school, and daily activities. The Air 2 Extension Study looked at the durability effect of BT beyond one year. The results of the Air 2 Extension Study demonstrated that the beneficial effects of BT were sustained up to five years in terms of reducing the number of emergency room visits and reducing the number of severe exacerbations. At the same time, the lung function remained stable over five years. Immediately after the procedure, one would expect transient worsening of asthma symptoms, which usually resolve within one week with standard care. These are the steps taken in a BT procedure. The patient is evaluated about one week prior to the procedure. Prophylactic oral corticosteroid shall be prescribed to the patient for three consecutive days. A lung function testing will be performed on the morning of the procedure to assess stability. The patient is then placed under either moderate sedation or general anesthesia. The BT catheter is introduced through a flexible bronchoscope and radio frequency energy is applied to the airway walls. Each procedure will be completed within 40 to 60 minutes. After the procedure, the patient will be monitored for several hours. The patient will be discharged when he or she is clinically stable and when the patient achieves at least 80% of the pre-procedure lung function test result. The patient will be followed up within two to three weeks to assess clinical stability and to schedule subsequent BT procedures. Upon completing the three BT procedures, the patient will return to the primary care physician for long-term management. 